Here is a second niche discrete distribution. It is known as Benford's distribution. It concerns the leading digit of the values in a data set. The leading digit is the first non-zero digit that occurs. And so, for example, with the number 365, if that's a data value, then its leading digit as you go in from the left will be a 3. If you have a data value of 0 0.0098, again, you start from the left, and the first non-zero digit that you encounter will be a 9. And so there is the leading digit in that case. Notice that the range of the leading digit is going to be from 1 to 9. But the big question is, what is the distribution of those leading digits? Now, you might assume that for most data sets that the 1 through 9 would be equally likely. Well, it turns out that for many data sets, that's not the case. This was first discovered by Newcomb in the 1800s, and he discovered that the tables, uh, I should say logarithm tables, were worn, the pages were worn uh, a bit more at the beginning of the tables than the end of the tables. And that, that led him to um, what is known as Benford's Law. But Frank Benford was the one that got the credit in terms of having his name on the distribution. He published an article in 1938 where he had collected 20,229 data values from some very diverse sources. For example, populations of counties, American League baseball statistics, numbers that appear in Reader's Digest, um, lengths of rivers, death rates, etc. And for each one of these data values, he picked off that leading digit. And it turns out 30% of the time, the leading digit was a 1. A little less than 20% of the time, the leading digit was 2. And these proportions go down until you get all the way up to the ninth digit. And in this case, the leading digit was less than 0.05. Now, he then conjectured and drew the very same conclusion that Newcomb did, that the distribution of the leading digit x has probability mass function, and here it is f of x is equal to the common logarithm, log base 10, of 1 plus 1 over x. And that's for leading digits that are 1, 2, 3, through 9. This same distribution was discovered by both Newcomb and Benford. And it turns out that many papers have been published on Benford's law. And in addition, Three books were published in 2015 concerning Benford's Law. If you were to plug these x values, 1 through 9, into this function, here are the numbers you would get. Now, if you take a look at these numbers and the numbers that Benford came up with on the previous slide concerning the actual data set, there's a very, very close match. And so this has been. Uh, established as Benford's Law. Here are two applications of Benford's Law. There are others. The first application is detecting accounting fraud. If somebody is simply making up numbers rather than actual numbers that occur, they may not conform to these particular uh, proportions that you see right here from Benford's Law. And that is a hint that there might be accounting fraud in the data. It's not a guarantee that there is accounting fraud, but at least it is an indicator that they are not following these proportions right here. Another example is election fraud. If somebody is just making up election numbers, they may not match these leading digits. And it could be that that is a way of detecting election fraud. Benford's distribution and Benford's law can be extended to not only the leading digit, but also can go on to the second digit. And it can be also done in bases other than base 10.